Get ready with me to go to a Savage X Fenty event while I kind of tell you some facts about me. So for anyone who's new here or hasn't seen my page, I just had a baby six months ago. I was so sick while I was pregnant. I was many times a day that it ruined my teeth. Like they're so yellow right now, but I'm breastfeeding and I can't get them whitened until I'm done breastfeeding. Same with Botox and same with any type of injectables on your face. You have to be ugly until you're done nursing. I got microblading in 2017 and that stuff is still there and will not go away. So 18 months is a lie. I've actually been working in social media for like seven years now. I got my start kind of on YouTube and I used to be a YouTuber. I have definitely realized why people say get married or have a baby and you'll find out who your real friends are because woo, people just kind of forget about you after you have a baby or potentially get married. And it's not even their fault. I don't hold it against them. It's just like you kind of enter different stages of life than people and it's like the real ones will stick around and the ones who are just kind of there for that phase of life we kind of go our separate ways and i'm originally from oregon not portland but the outskirts of portland so i always just say portland i went to portland state university where i majored in marketing and human resource management i met my husband on twitter r.i.p twitter i met him through a hashtag hashtag tall girl twitter and he and i have been together since 2016 we got married almost two years ago on august 13th he actually proposed to me on august 12th and then we were in vegas and he was like you want to go get married and i was like fuck yeah i do because i'm a pisces and a hopeless romantic so we got married the day after we got engaged we're celebrating our two-year anniversary soon and it's crazy that two years later we are about to have a six month old the day after our anniversary she was born on valentine's day she is just my little love bug and like any true mother i am certainly obsessed with her her name is xiomara or Ziomara for anyone who cannot pronounce that Lately, I've been finding myself kind of struggling with the fact that I am a stay-at-home mom. There's nothing wrong with being a stay-at-home mom. It's just that um, I work in social media, obviously. I've been doing it for seven, eight. Um, girl, not my light trying to give out on me. But anyway, I was saying that I am struggling with the idea of being a stay-at-home mom. You know, my husband's job makes more money, so it's what's best for our family is for me to stay at home with the baby and be the childcare provider. And I love staying home with her, but I struggle with the idea that I'm like giving up the career that I worked so hard for for years. There are just certain things that are bigger than me and more important than me. And my daughter is one of those things. But being a freshly postpartum mom and also trying to be in the workplace while also being at home is definitely really hard. I fully understand why people are like, oh, you became a mom and you changed. Well, no, shit. I push a baby out of my vagine or all the other ways that you can become a mother or a parent. I also feel like this is just the rebirth of me. Like I'm stepping into this new version of me and I'm excited to learn who I am outside of motherhood, in motherhood, and who I am now that I am a new person. I've always felt like I'm the type of person that can be friends with everyone, but I've never really felt like I fit into the cliques. Like I always feel like the third wheel in friend groups or cliques I'm honestly gonna chalk that one up to my daddy issues and abandonment issues, okay? Don't don't blame me, don't judge me. I feel like being a parent has kind of been a journey of healing my childhood and you get to learn from your parents' mistakes. My goal is that my child is a better human than I am. Back with the light baby and I wish that I could have this thing on my face 24 seven because the difference it makes. So like I said, I got married two years ago and we eloped, but then we had a big wedding a year later. Fun fact about my wedding day is that someone threw flowers in my face while I was walking down the aisle after the wedding planners deliberately said many, 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 many times, do not throw flowers at that time. So I feel like on purpose. And the answer is no. But if you're wondering if you should just elope instead of having a big wedding, do it and save your money. I loved our wedding so much, but we could have put a down payment on a house instead. And I sometimes wish we did. I see so many people around me on social media trying to like recreate aesthetics and vibes and content of other people's and make it their own. Fine if that's your vibe, but also I just feel like just post what you want to, like what comes to you organically and keep posting. And the longer you do that and more consistent you do that, you are going to become your own like muse. You don't need an inspiration board. Like you can become the inspiration board. Like I promise, believe in yourself, believe in your content and just post it. Who cares if it doesn't perform well? Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Consistency is what's gonna get you there. And I believe in you.
And the great thing about being a content creator in social media is that you have unlimited lives. Start over and try again.